What's going on everybody? We are back out. We're going to be camping on a big lake. We're going to be bass and pike fishing. And we have the big hot tent. We got the canvas tent, we got the stove. And I have my son with me. For the first time in a long time, which is I'm very excited about. And we're going to have our friend Doug with us. Logan and Doug are not showing up tonight till around 10 30, 11 o'clock at night. They're going to night paddle. Because they have to get an even later start. But I mean, you know, when we're able to come out early, try and get a campsite, I was hoping to get out with more light than this, but that didn't happen. So we'll see you at camp. Pretty beautiful night out here. There's hardly any wind. It's pretty calm. It's about 42 degrees out. All right, guys, we are here. We've landed. We didn't get the campsite we wanted, which is weird for this time of year, but we got a nice campsite. It's pitch black now. We've been here for a little while. We're all set up. We got the big tent right here. And me and my son are just sitting in the tent having a few drinks. Don't worry, he's a, he is of age. <laughs> and we're waiting for Logan and our other friend Doug to get here. They got a few more hours yet. Well, I got my bed set up back here. Logan and Doug will be on each side. And my son Owen, he likes the hammock. So he'll be set up right here with the hammock and underquilt. Unless he gets cold, then he'll come in with us. We got a wood stove for tonight too, but that's coming with Logan. All right, all right, all right. I'm back out with my buddy Doug. John had already mentioned that uh, we're doing a night paddle in. We just came off the channel here and it was foggy, man. You couldn't see nothing. So it was a little sketchy, but we opened, we got uh, here into the open part of the lake and we can see all the flashing lights going right down to where we need to take a right so we're gonna be good to go it's kind of like a little runway but we'll check in with you when we get back to the camp boys they that made it pretty crazy paddle, man. it's after midnight they're just getting here no wind at all yeah it was just such a nice paddle it was crazy yeah I figured you guys are gonna have a nice one when I saw the stars. Dude, the stars out right now. I mean, it is. It was a really good pay. It was. It was scary though in the river yeah. because of the um, the fog, man. That freaked me out. It was a little sketchy. And it's dark as hell. What's up? What it do? Right, let me help you guys unload. I'm gonna end up sleeping on the left side because I gotta do the stove tonight. So I gotta okay, kind of so stay up all night. Left, you're on the right. right? Yeah. Yep. Perfect. How was that paddle? It was it was awesome, man. It really was. I I got kind of nervous because you know bringing bringing Doug out. He hasn't been out in what three years, man. It's Dude, been, yeah, yeah, over it's been a while. So I was only nervous because the fog <laughs> and you could. I do it. I could. You couldn't see. Sorry, folks. We didn't really record too much of the evening. Well, really, it was actually late nights like too. Two, yeah, it's two o'clock in the morning right now. Yeah, once once Doug and I got here, we just got set up and we got the fire going and ate some snacks and just chit chatted. So we're gonna call it a night. We're we're all excited to get up and go pike fishing. Hopefully we get on the pike. Hell yeah. Hopefully at what one each, and then we'll be happy with that. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully we can move campsites too. Yeah, we're hoping to move campsites if we get lucky. We'll see. Never know, but it's definitely worth bringing. The hot tent with the stove, man, because it is hot in here. And I mean, it's cold outside. And it is cold outside. I think it was what was the low tonight? Twenty. I think the low is twenty nine tonight. Twenty nine tonight, so it feels colder. Yeah, it's cold. But it feels great in here, so we're all set. Well, you guys have a good night. We're gonna have a uh, awesome day tomorrow, and stay tuned. Top of the morning. Been up for a little bit, but we're letting the fog roll off the lake here. Getting the fire all set up for my nephew. He's gonna stay back and 
chill for a little bit. My brother Doug out here. And uh, Owen was up in the hammock last night, so he's gonna go hang out in the hot tent and stay warm while we go off fishing. Try our luck. Hopefully they're there. Color change is over for the most part. Little bit of color on the leaves that are still on the trees, but most of the leaves are blown off now. Fishing. We'll see if we can see any fish in the bottom. I got the fish finder and we're checking out some other campsites to see if we can move. Doug had a small fish on, but he lost it back there. I'm seeing some signs of life, but no hookups yet. We just started though. So let's see if we can get a fish. Me and Doug just doubled up. Let him tire out a little bit, bro. I still want to lose him. Yeah, yeah, you'll want to let him run a little bit. Yeah. Oh my gosh! Biggest fish. Biggest fish that I've ever felt. Oh my god, it's a beauty! <laughs> Twister on you. Yeah. Biggest fish that I've ever felt. Oh my god, it's a beauty. <laughs> Doug's a big fish. Huh? <laughs> my fish is pretty big, he's running. This one's a pretty big fish. Yo, it's John. <laughs> yeah, I wish I had Doug, we didn't see this one. Oh. That's the biggest pike right there. Oh. You can even get him in the net. Yeah. That's, that's, a, that's a 40 incher, huh? <laughs> pretty close. So those guys are doing one more little pass through there. I'm going to go check out another campsite and then we're going to go in and we're making breakfast and coffee. The sun's coming out now and it feels really good. Logan's got a fish. Heading back into camp. Guy. I'm making breakfast sandwiches. How's your breakfast sandwich? <laughs> Delicious. It's good, huh? That's a good breakfast in the woods. How's yours, though? Mm -hmm. Oh, the sandwich? Yeah, it's a good. Delicious, All right. Fresh off getting Doug the biggest fish he's ever caught in his life. Oh, we knew it. And he followed his fish instinct. You know, he started to cut across the bay. And so good on him. That was awesome. Getting some of uh, John's homemade chili. Nice or camp made chili, I guess, right? So not we're not home. Nice thing with the hot tent is we can cook a big pot dinner. Yep. Right over the stove and cook it all day. Yeah, it's pretty windy outside. I don't know if you can tell by the tent moving a little bit or not, but it's 
bad boy going. What do you say? What do you say, John? I say chili's gonna be good. It's gonna be amazing. How's your eye, Doug? Yeah, our boy Let's Doug. He, yeah, he was cutting up some pepper. pepper. <laughs> <laughs> we, we were all on cutting duty. John's fingers are all cracked, so his fingers are burning. Had to throw some uh, some super glue on them. We're good. Always bring super glue with us. Hey, still yeah. still running high off that big pipe. Yeah, Got yeah, it yeah. It doesn't hurt so bad, right? Yes, sir. All right, crack these, crack these cans open and uh, get this going. We got the meat cooked up. John just added the beans. Moving along. All right, Doug is our official food critic, mm. and he he's phenomenal. Yep. Yeah. John, John nailed the chili again. Well, dig yourself on this one, huh? Chili. Yeah. Even though I got decaffeinated coffee. <laughs> yeah, John got. <laughs> I don't think we told anybody that. Yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. John got decaf coffee. Oh, That's what happens when you send good. somebody who works nights to get the groceries? <laughs> all right, we're all gonna dig in here. Got some wood all processed up, and the wind was calming down. Supposed to. Calm down as the night goes on. So we get out and get a little evening fish in, and the boys are cutting up this beauty. Nice, peaceful, relaxing trip. All right, heading out for this little evening fish here. Winds have calmed down just enough. There were some gusts coming through earlier that were definitely 25, getting close to 30. But hopefully we'll be good now. Came in like a log though, barely even, even fought. Oh, that was awesome, man. I'm so glad that we decided to come out. Even though the wind picked up, it was uh, definitely well worth it. I love the count board. The pike have been eluding me lately, so that feels good. I'm really hoping we get Doug on one more, man. He, he had such an awesome time catching that last pike, so hopefully we'll be able to get on one more tomorrow. The weather's pretty rough, but we'll be able to get out a few times. Hopefully the wind will let us. We'll see how it goes. I got to leave tomorrow evening, so these guys might do the same, but we'll see what happens. Nonetheless, we got a big old pot of chili to go back to. All the firewood's nice and processed, so we get to just go back and chill now. I think I have a fish on, I don't know. Oh yeah, the bass, yeah! I always say it's just a bass, cause I, man, I just love catching pike so much. This bass got a little fight to it though. Oh, it's a nice one. Let this guy tire out. I feel like I'm getting all twisted in my net right now. I don't even care if he breaks off. <laughs> Bad. He's a, he's a nice, he's a good fatty, man. Hell yeah. A nice one. 
Could actually get my finger in him, lip him. Nice little guy. Later, buddy. Thank you. Nice, man. Let's go. Let's go. Yes. Yo, that was awesome. Woo! Still out paddling after we caught those fish. Doug wanted to keep fishing for a little bit, so we're out paddling around this bay here, but I head in here in a few minutes. We're gonna go in, we're gonna have a fire outside, have a few drinks, go in, start the fire in the tent, heat up the chili, and have a late dinner. There's home. Nice when you got the hot tent and a bunch of hardwood to have this little saw to cut them down to size. Get a little fire outside, even though we got the hot tent. Alright guys, it's starting to rain a little bit out here and the wind's picking up, so we're going to let this fire die down out of here and we're going to go back in the hot tent and get the fire going in the hot tent. Start that chili up, get it reheated. Yeah, we got the chili reheated. Looking good. Bubbling. We got the fire going, it's nice and warm in here. These guys are nice and toasty, right? You're toasty? Oh, yeah. Yeah. How about Blinded you? by good? the light. Doug got his pike today, his PB yeah, pike, buddy. the biggest oh, fish ever. Yes. Yeah, yeah. it was beautiful. awesome. That was great. And then right before we came into campsite, got a, a nice little bass that ended up causing him to want to stay out longer. Oh, you fished hard, back. bro. Yeah, he fished harder than any of us, yeah. man. Yeah. Doug outfished us today, yeah. man. He put the time, the effort. Yeah, we're about to grub. Oh, I can't this wait. This is what I've been waiting for. Uh, I stoked the fire up with some more logs that should burn for a good, I don't know, hour and a half, two hours. So it's one thing about being on fire duty. You got to get up a few few times during the night, but I, I don't sleep that well, so it's all good. We had a great night. We finished off all that chili. The whole, can't see anybody Ooh, over there. Nice. Yeah. We caught some pike. Yep, caught some pike today, some bass. So all in all, it was an awesome day up here. As always, the ADK always provides. So nothing but good vibes today. And uh, tomorrow's going to be a little gusty, but we have the whole entire day to pack up and putz our way out of here and hopefully catch a few more fish if we're lucky enough. But until the morning time, good night. Good night. As we decided to leave this evening, we packed up most of our sleeping stuff. But right now, we're cooking breakfast. Got the hash browns going right now. And we're going to have some eggs. And we'll probably grill the rest of that ham up in there. Yeah, definitely. It's really, it's it's incredibly, the wind ripped on us all night long. I had to readjust the tent a couple times. It's gusting like 30 miles an hour. So. It'll be a It'd be a good tail wind for our paddle out. Luckily. Yeah, luckily it's pushing us out of here. Yeah. Otherwise, I'd be a little concerned. They're down. Everyone already had their decaf coffee. I expect it to taste bad. Mmm. Eggs good? Oh yeah. Nice. There's no crisp on the outside. Yep, I'm gonna get into this now. Owen and Doug's getting theirs. Mm. We couldn't sit in the tent any longer, so it's too windy to paddle, so we're hiking to the other side of the island to do a little shore fishing. This is a really nice campsite. Yeah. Look at the view. Oh, wow. Look at this, guys. This is a, oh, man. 
short though, a big one. the tip of the island now at the last campsite and it just opens up to the lake right here and we're gonna do some fishing from here all right I don't know if you guys can hear this wind but it is ripping out there we're back from shore fishing we're gonna light a little fire in the tent warm it up before we pack up our buddy Doug's out there fishing in this. Yeah, he's out. And he's, he's he's going hard he, right now. He gets to do one trip a year, so he's out yeah. there trying to make for most of his time. So I, yeah. I understand. Yeah. My son's laying in the hammock, nice and toasty warm. And we're about to get a fire going and hang out here for a little bit. All right, it's still pretty windy out. We're packing up, though. We got everything out of the tent. Most of it's swept out. We're just waiting for the stove to cool down some more. We get this tent packed up. Owen's not feeling real well, so he's still laying in the hammock. We'll pack that up last. And then we're going to make our way out of here. And we're hoping it calms down a little bit when we leave so we can get a little fishing in. But I don't know. We left a little wood supply here for the next people. So enjoy that. It's nice to have. all packed up now we just got to pack everything up in the canoes and catch this tailwind out of here it's still pretty windy but luckily we're not paddling into it so we'll be all set have some wood all right, time to go get all this stuff packed up here Oh no, I got a big fish. That's it folks, nothing more exciting happened after John catching that fish. We ended up catching that tailwind out, basically just sailed down the lake which was nice. However, we're going to be hitting a little bit of a headwind as we paddle through the bay here but all in all it was a great trip. We got Doug on a PB pike so that was awesome and uh, we ate some good food, got to enjoy the hot tent. But that, that wind kept, kept us landbound today, so that's kind of why we're heading out a little bit early. Couldn't do too much, and uh, these guys decided they were going to leave tonight instead, so it just works out. But as always, we appreciate you guys watching. We appreciate everything. Hope you guys have a great day and a great time on the water. Until next time, take care and be well.